we work together in an unbroken chain that begins and ends with us. But a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. On the 3rd of February 2009 at Shah Field, a vital link in this chain was broken. I came to work that morning. I saw my friend Ramesh feeding the bird. The rest of my colleagues were busy in the workshop. No one was expecting the foreman Tariq to call us to help him at the pit. Hi, good morning everybody. Come to the the foreman told us to come and finish the small job and we would do the permit later. The team set off without a permit to work in a hazardous area. This was a deadly shortcut. It was to be their last journey. Hydrogen sulfide, commonly known as H2S or rotten egg gas, is invisible heavier than air and deadly, even at low concentrations. Ramesh descends into a toxic death trap. Ramesh was told to go down into the pit and fix the rope that had slipped off the valve. Then I saw him climb up the ladder to the second and third step, and then he fell down. The foreman called out to me, stop the pump. I didn't know what was going on. I could see Tarek trying to lift Ramesh up, and within less than a minute, Tarek had collapsed to the ground. Panic takes over. Kabir rushes down into the pit. Mustafa leaps down the other side, but the men have less than a minute of exposure to H2S before they fall unconscious. Hello? Hello, hello! What? Hello, you know, get away! Shabazz, get off! Shabazz! Kilometer 58? Okay, I'm just coming now. Hello? Hello, there is an accident at kilometer 50. Please initiate the siren immediately. Emergency at kilometer 50. Please mobilize. And everyone was shouting, there is gas, there is gas. I was afraid, but I knew I had to help them. When I reached uh, to that location, I immediately came to know this accident is because of H2SO. And I saw Sabar already there trying to lift Mustafa. It was really shocking to see all of my foremen, my foremen and my labor lying on the ground. I was lost for a moment. I really felt that how this has happened as such. It was a big shock for me. It has really hit my life a lot. In fact, I still it is a nightmare for me. I have lost my own four men and my labor. It is difficult to digest when you miss somebody of your own in your life. It was a very unfortunate incident which has touched my life for, for time.
I did not know that H2S gas killed my friend. If I had known this terrible fact, I would have jumped into the pit and tried to save them. I miss my friend so much. That is why I keep a picture of his son to remember him. I've just been informed that we had an incident at Shah and unfortunately a very sad news. Three of our colleagues and the contractor have passed away due to exposure of the H2S. I have met him one day before and afterwards the next one day one more morning I see him no more which we have stayed together for so much time it's very difficult to come to a situation that we feel that he is no more uh, Early morning, as we leave, we need to identify the hazards. And H2S is one of the big monsters that we need on a daily basis to eliminate. If we cannot eliminate it, we need to control. And above all, if we cannot, we need to protect ourselves and protect our employee. Each individual in the field has been provided with H2S detector. Even the contractors, even the laborers, even the drivers. What are the risks we will, will be involved in this job first of all? H2S, hydrocarbon, oxygen. Hydrocarbon industry is a risky business by nature and safeguards are developed to ensure that we protect our employees and the contractors that they are engaged with us. A lesson that came across those procedures there are times that are due to over-experience and com complexity that these procedures are not fully adhered to. And this incident is one that should never be repeated again and should not happen again to our operation. We shouldn't be uh, encouraging shortcuts. Shortcuts, unfortunately, are long cuts. And people are hurt. Keep people being aware on the H2S and the consequences of having these gases released. Also keep training, that's an important part uh, of uh, our business. Training, training and training. Okay, okay tighten from the order. Just pull backwards. Huh? Gentlemen, we must remember that we work in an oil industry. There are rules and safety rules available and we must follow these rules. ATCO permit system is designed in a full safe way actually. There are a lot of controls in place before anybody starts the work. We have a job performer, we have a job originator, we have area authority, we have issuing authority, we have gas testing. And all are independent. Nobody, a single person is not responsible for it. There are about five lines of safety involved to do a job. And if you follow that permits, you will never go wrong. We need to safeguard our system from any future accident. We should and will never allow this accident to happen. It's our responsibility that to avoid such accident from reoccurring. Lots of lessons has been learned from this tragic incident and we have engaged the whole organization to make sure that we do not face this kind of tragedies again. We understand our lives by looking backwards.
but we live them forward. So we keep moving onward, never forgetting those who have passed, because their memory will inspire a safe future. We will remain an unbroken chain, linked together and dependent, safeguarding what we value most, our lives, our families, our colleagues, our company, and our future.